Hi, boys and girls. Let's talk about the next step of our project. Once you get all of the pieces put down, you might be noticing that some areas have been left white or have been left plain. If you did that, you can now take some time and you can start coloring and adding some designs just like Bisa Butler. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the side of my crayon to fill in all this space with color. You don't have to do that. You could do it in a different way. This is just one way to do it. So one thing I'm gonna do is after I do this, I'm going to start adding some patterns and designs. So I'm just taking my marker and I'm just adding some swirls. So for me, the reason why I'm doing this is it kind of makes it look like wind, but you could come up with any other way that you'd like to do it. Maybe you wanna make wavy lines, maybe you wanna do doodly lines, but this is one way to fill up those white spaces. So as you work, I want you to take note where you've left it plain. Even though this is colored paper, it is also blank. So maybe right here, I would like to add some different lines. So even though you might be saying, I'm done, I've filled up all of my shapes with paper, go back, take a look, and see where you can start to add those little details. This is what I like to call the sprinkles on top of the cupcake or that whipped cream and that cherry on top of your sundae. This gives it that perfect finishing touch. So start adding those details and start really making it pop just like Bisa Butler. And remember, as always, enjoy and stay creative.